Of course you punch that chicken fight so that I lose both. Because why the hell wouldn't you? Jesus. What's going on guys? In today's video I'm going to be finishing up my remaining hits against Smart in the second fighter rumble match of this current rumble. If you remember from part one, RNG Jesus was boning me left and right every chance he could get with my all fighter deck, so here's hoping for the remaining hits here, we'll have a little bit better luck with that. Let's see how that's going to go right now. Alright, Heffy is up next. Let's go ahead and lead with, holy shit, not an item in sight. Oh man. I, out of all the combos I could potentially make, I think Bob is the one I would want to make the most to be safe for score, so we're going to lead with Bob. Alright, and there's the item. Thank God. Let's go ahead and just make that Christmas punch out now. Because that stop hitting yourself has me worried. Thinking on it, I'm surprised the devs didn't give the stop hitting yourself the payback skill. That would have been hysterical. Alright, I drew Arlen, so I think we're going to go ahead and set that up next here for the wall. That'll block some of the Vengeance Quagmire there. And I can set up a Stick and Hank to get some healing in there if I want to. Ooh, Smoke Bomb, that's nasty. That's going to hurt. That's going to hurt quite a bit. I'm actually debating whether I still want to do that Stick and Hank or not now. Because the alternative is Will of a Housewife for some Mega Punch and Craze. I just don't have the healing factor, but at this point, I think that might be more important than the healing factor here. Then again, I don't know, 17 paybacks, nothing to scoff at, and it's 18 wall to be blocking vengeance for the turn there. You know what? Let's go ahead and do Stick and Hank just to try to stall it out as long as I can. Will of a Housewife, that also is a crazier that can get out of control, so I'm gonna have to deal with that next. Actually, I got a Brian statue. That'll be how I deal with that. So let's go ahead and lay down the law with Brian statue. Should be able to block it completely from being able to attack with that sturdy wall because there's nothing buffing up its initial attack. And I got the bodyguard there blocking me from about half that bomb damage from Smoke Bomb. So that'll help keep Stick and Hank alive. Plus the motivate is nice to help do more damage. All right, they dropped the Luis. Look at that, my Brian statue's bodyguards me blocking Will of a Housewife completely for the punches too. It's a power move right there. And I believe Vengeance is falling this next turn between Bombs and Stick and Hank's 80, or not 80, 30 attack, so that's a win there. I'm gonna play another Diamond Crusher over here because if I can draw another Hank, some more heal all would be much appreciated. Still got time to play with this too because they're still at a full 90 HP. Good punch, because I don't really care about Will of a Housewife, it's completely stalled out against me. Bye bye, Vengeance. Alright, they filled the hole instead of comboing, which means I can make this go even longer. More time to draw that Hank. Of course, Will of a Housewife is breaking through now, unfortunately, with that Motivate. Still no draw on the Hank, though. That is unfortunate. I'm going to start building out my, um, my wall, though, now. So we're going to do a chicken fight for HP. Let's see, Luis is falling. Uh, is Will the Housewife going to fall from anything? Probably not, not enough bomb damage. And it is over next turn for my direct attack, so if I could draw a Hank right now, that would be great. I need Hank. I need that extra heal all. Come on, there's four Hanks in this deck. Damn it. Okay, highest HP fighter card to expand the wall. Do another chicken fight out over there. I'll at least get one heal all round here and my round of um, leech from Christmas Punch Out. So everybody should be at full except for Stick and Hank. He's down to about 50% of his HP there. So let's see, I'm going to predict with how much I have on there, like mid to high 90s. Next up is the Sin of Care Bears. Is that why he's an S-Mark? Did he get exiled from Killer Care Bears? Is he their sin? Let's go ahead, and I have options this time. I like it. Lead with the Home Invader. They have the Steve, which means they're probably going for that Steve Arena combo. So if I do this combo, I'm going to be feeding into that nonsense. Hell no. Let's go ahead and do Christmas Punch Out. There's the Arlen. Yep, they could have gone Steve Arena. Forget that noise. Let's go ahead now and throw out, uh, let's do my chicken fight because I'm going to want to get like a healer set up over here if I can. 
Still no combo, that's fine by me. Makes this much easier for what I have to do. All right, and there's my Hank to get my healing train going. We're gonna lead with the Diamond Crusher and you know where this is going next turn. If I get the right punch here, Arlen will fall too. Arlen is gonna fall. Of course, it denied me my bomb damage because of that. Still no combo. Again, fine by me, I have more turns to play with the heals. So here's hoping my punch does not hit Arcturian. Actually, you know what, screw it, it leached. Let punch hit it. Let it punch him in his stupid bug-eyed face. But for now, stick and Hank there to get those heals. That's fine, bombs will still take care of it for me. Come on, punch Christmas again. Thank you, that was the best that could have gone. Let's see, Christmas is falling next turn. I'm gonna wanna get more heals on the field if I can. Actually, is Christmas falling? It might not. To ensure that I actually get the heals though is the question. Do I do Peggy and do it? It doesn't matter, either way it's gonna be that slot. So yeah, let's just do my um let's do a high HP fighter card and then I can still make the um the stick and hank if I need to, or just do another high HP after if it turns out it won't make it over to that slot. Either way, I'm ending it next turn. We'll just see if I get one or two heals. And they have to fill the hole, so I'm gonna be getting two heals out of this. Nice. Is there any way RN Jesus can bone me on this? I think it can with the right punches from slot one. If Christmas Punch Out frickin' punches the Brian statue, that's how RN Jesus can bone me. But I have to go for that risk here for that 15 more heal all, because that'll be 30 heal all to my chicken fight, which I desperately need. Ricky's got his back there with the free heal he got from that, so come on, RN Jesus, don't let me down. All right. So I get all of my heals here and it's over this turn. Next up is Sister Mary Elephant. Let's go ahead and lead with, do I wanna go Arlen or Stick and Hank with the um, Quahog Martial Arts? Well, let's do the Quahog Martial Arts. Arlen can act as another healer if I need it. Too bad I'm not running Fry in this deck. Would love to make the Clock Clock Fry. All right, let's go ahead and make Stick and Hank now because that Bob has me a little bit worried, especially if they combo, that's gonna be real bad. And of course they freaking combo. Well, this is gonna hurt, it's gonna hurt real bad. I'm not gonna be able to overcome that thing, unfortunately, so it's time to start making some other moves. We're gonna play Arland over here for some hard hitting power there. And I'm gonna have to keep building out my wall and figure out another combo because Stick and Hank's not gonna outtake a Christmas punch out. They matched me Arland for Arland. So far, this looks like it's gonna be my loss. That's just how I'm feeling right now with these draws and what I'm going up against. Still no draw. I could go for another stick and hank here for the 15 heal all on the wall there. Not a bad way to go to try to protect it. I leave Arland alone though. It's got 12 heal to the stick and hank, so that's not bad by any means either. I think I'd rather just keep building my wall out with the chicken fight for now. No point in comboing right now because it's not gonna be dropping their Arland. Oh, and they combo into Chicken Fight, because of goddamn course they do. That's going to hurt. I might be losing some slots here with those punches and bombs. Did I say might? I meant definitely. Definitely losing some, some cards here. All right, that was the best that could have happened with that punch, so it spared me a little bit. Uh, question now is, do I take the direct damage from the Christmas punch out and combo, or... Do I try to fill the hole? I feel like there's no point in filling the hole though because I'm not dropping anything else like right now. Let's see, what happens if I do fill the hole with the chicken fight? There is the potential of me losing my Arland if it gets hit by the right punches, which is scary. But if I do this between the bombs and the punches, I might be able to take out their chicken fight. So it's a whole big what the fuck, who knows what to do with it. Uh, I feel like the 37 direct is gonna make me lose a lot quicker if I leave that open. I have to fill the slot. We're gonna do chicken fight and just pray that Arlen doesn't get punched into oblivion. All right, good punch. That's the one I need to take out right now. I'm more concerned about the chicken fight than I am the Christmas punch out. Come on. Oh, come on, you suck. You suck. Damn it, RN Jesus. And now I draw the, um, the freaking mythic, but it's a, like too little too late. Uh, let's go ahead and do my, um, I guess we'll do Diamond Crusher for the slightly more HP, but I am not digging the odds on this right now. Pretty sure this is gonna be a loss. It's just giving me the wrong cards at the wrong time. Good bomb. 
happy about that bomb. Of course you punch that chicken fight so that I lose both, because why the hell wouldn't you? Jesus. Alright, I can't afford to be taking both of those direct attacks to combo right now, because if I do, then just on the next turn in the open slot, I lose. I have to fill the hole here, so let's go ahead and fill it with the chicken fight. Ah, oh, man, I'm still not liking my odds on this. If I can take out the Roadhouse, that would be great, because that's the next biggest concern. At this point, I've given up on taking Christmas Punch out. Out. Ouch. All right, I think I have to take the hit this time directly. If I don't combo, I'm going to lose regardless. And I can't afford to lose that slot with Diamond Crusher. I have to combo. So the question is, what do I combo? Stick and Hank? Gives me the heals, which is nice, but it's just more or less delaying the inevitable. I feel like I need to have a powerhouse in here, so it's got to be either Stewie or Peggy. Stewie's going to craze, which is kind of really good and what I really need right now. Um, Peggy does have the payback, which is nice. You know what? Screw it. Let's go Stewie and just bank on this. Either way, it's not looking good. I'm going to probably lose no matter what the hell I do. So I need all punches to hit Roundhouse would be great. Nope. Oh, there was one of the punches. <laughs> Okay, if, um, oh, of course it makes Baka Neko. I was gonna say, if I can get Stewie going and take out Luis, we have a chance. But nope, there went any freaking chance of winning this right out the goddamn window. God damn it. I mean, I knew going into this that this deck was not gonna be as strong as the, um, as the Combo Mastery one we had in the first match, but Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah, it's over here. What can I do to maximize my loss score? I guess highest HP thing would be it, so a fighter card? I don't know, I'm over this match, whatever. I degaff at this point. And that, boys and girls, is why running fighter on offense, this battleground effect, freaking sucks. <laughs> uh, and when you look at that, only one potential combo. At least it's a mythic one this time. We'll lead with the item. Damn it, this was shaping up to be a pretty good match, too, but. What can I what can I say? Went into this fully expecting to have some bullshit like that happen with this deck. Ooh, we have another option for the mythic there too. Do we want to go Bakaneko or do we want to go with the mascot fighter? Mascot fighter, I think, will deal with it quicker. However, Bakaneko has the leech to keep its HP up. Let's do that. Alright, they dropped the Klaus. They're probably going for that um that freaking smoke bomb. Let's go ahead and do my chicken fight to buff up Bakaneko a bit, because I don't want to be playing catch up next round. I want to keep expanding my wall here. All right, still no combo from them. That works out just fine for me. Another mythic. So I have all these mythics and no items to do anything with them. Holy hell. Well, I'm going to still need to keep building out my wall here, so we'll do another chicken fight there. Because that class has me worried. I want to take that thing out before it can get comboed. They should be losing, I think, slot one and two with all the bombs and stuff getting thrown out there. Give me a good punch on Klaus, come on. Thank you. All right, they played the Arlen, so I do have a hard target to leech with Bakaneko, that's good. At this point, I can keep expanding out with the chicken fight, or we do have Kohog Martial Arts Academy, so I can't make a combo there if I want. Another option is just playing Zoidberg by himself. He has a healer for 10 heal, which is not a bad thing to have, but the Diamond Crusher has bomb, it would just be bombing Zoidberg, so it's just trading damage for damage. You know what? Screw it. Let's just keep doing high HP fighter cards and build this wall as far as we can. Let's see how many cards deep we can get in on this. Alright, they filled the hole instead of comboing, which means we can go even further down the line cards deep. How many cards deep are we going? All the cards. So what's my next highest HP thing to throw out there? That would be Diamond Crusher. So let's go ahead and get that thrown out there. At this point, I just want to see how high I can get that score to be with having a massive freaking card wall on the field there. Screw heals, screw all of that. How many cards deep can we get? Right now, we are currently at five. Uh, I think because of that bomb, it's over this turn. So five, five deep was the answer.
And that's going to do it for all 10 of my hits against Smart in this All Fighter Rumble. We were on track there up until the very end to potentially have one of the highest, if not the highest score in WOG against them for this round. But unfortunately, we did take that one loss, which, hey, going into this with the All Fighter deck, I gotta say, I was expecting to get a sub 900 score anyway, so it performed about as well as I thought it would. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the match. If you did, please be sure to click that like button and be sure to subscribe and click that little bell icon to get notified of new uploads as soon as they go live. I'll catch you guys in the next match. Peace.